the royal flush. What is it? Let's define it and talk about the odds and probability of getting one. So this is for simple five card draw poker where there are no extra cards and no community cards. You might want to watch our permutations and combinations tutorials first in order to fully understand the calculation. Disclaimer, we do not encourage gambling. Remember, the house always wins. Let's do it. So what is a Royal Flush? Let's talk about that first. A Royal Flush is when you have all the cards the same suit and the actual ranks are in sequence and it is the highest possible sequence. In other words, when we say in sequence, we might mean ace, two, three, four, five, or eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, or four, five, six, seven, eight. The highest possible sequence is ten, jack, queen, king, ace. And a royal flush is such a sequence with all the same suit. So how many combinations are there for a royal flush? Well, like we said, as far as the sequence goes, and the ranks of the cards, there's only one way it's possible. 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. But there are four suits available for that to happen. So in other words, simply 4C1. So the number of possible royal flush hands available is four hands. Not a lot, very, very rare. So the probability of a royal flush, what is it? Well, we're just gonna take this four and copy it here. And this is gonna give us four possible Outcomes for that, four possible royal flushes divided by the total possible number of poker hands, 52C5. That just copies down here, and the 52C5 comes down here. Since we're dividing by it, it gets inverted, and factorial 47 cancels, leaving this, which copies down here, and the factorial 5 comes down here, and the 4 just copies down. So, let's do some cancelling. Not going to be much. My favourite to start with is always... 3 times 4 is 12, and 12 times 4 is 48, cancelling here. And my other favourite is the 5 and the 2. Cancels with the 10 in the 50, turning it into a 5. What's left? Not much. All we have on the top is just 1. And on the bottom, 52 times 51. Times 5 times 49. Doing that on the calculator, we get 1 over 649740. And doing that division and multiplying it by 100, we get 0.00015% for the probability. So, as a nice rational fraction and as a percentage, you can see that the probability of a royal flush is tiny, tiny, and minute. So, let's talk about the odds of that happening. For every 649, 740 hands in poker, one of them may end up being a royal flush. And there will be doing the subtraction here 649, 739, hands where you will not be getting a royal flush. So you're going to be waiting around a long time. So the odds are going to be 649,739 to 1. Basically, 650,000 to 1. So there you go, the number of possible hands of a royal flush in five card poker and the probability and odds of it happening. Thanks for tuning in.